this video, Curator Support will walk you through a use case of how to collect Windows events from 100 endpoints in WinCollect 10. All right, so with the use case here, um, I want to collect events from 100 remote endpoints. I want to collect the three channels, so application, system, and security um, from 100 remote machines. Now to do something like this in WinCollect 7, um, it was a daunting task. Like you couldn't go in and use the standalone config console and add a remote machine and then go in and configure it to, you know, do what we want to do here. It was pages upon pages and it was just, you know, not an easy task. Um, with WinCollect 10 and using the log source wizard, um, we can go step through the wizard and, you know, and do that. So let's do that. So right now we're at the source wizard page. We're going to go and collect a remote and we're going to select the bulk. And the first thing we're going to be asked is, you know, what do we want to call this? So let's call this one like HR workstations. Okay. And we're going to click next. Now something to be, you know, with this is that you want to, when you create these bulk groups, you want to keep similar devices together. You don't want to have, you know, a bunch of workstations and servers and stuff like that where you may need to, you know, change the configurations for. Uh, it's good to keep everything, you know, the, as the same. So very similar devices. So let's go on to the next. And here we see the the plugin options, all the, you know, all, all everything that we support with WinCollect 10. Um, and this example i'm just going to go through and you know use the windows event here we can specify the channels or we can put in our own custom xpath um, i just want to collect the application system and security event so i just click the click the toggles there and we're going to go next to the credentials now of course we need to have you know credential set we need to be, have something that this agent can use to remotely connect to the event channels on those remote machines so we need to create new credentials i'm just going to call this josh admin and it's a domain account and my username and a password so once we have everything configured here, we're gonna go on to the bulk devices section. Now this is where we can go in and start adding our, our devices. Now we have a couple options. We can do a file upload, or we can go in and manually add, and you can use either or. So if I go in here and you know upload a file and say, oh, that file didn't contain everything I needed, I can then go over here and you know manually type in the IP address or the host name and click add and it'll add it over to this new devices section on the right. Now we do supply like a bulk template, uh, you know, that you can use. And if we flip over here, I have that loaded up. So you can use a mix of IPs, host names, etc. You know, it's just line separated file. Now here I have uh, a bunch of machines in the lab and there's a hundred here listed. And I'm just gonna import this file here. So we could just click on this drag and drop. I'm just gonna open up the, the, the UI section here and select this bulk 12, 100. And as soon as I click open, all those devices are shown here on the right hand side. Now, something we also include with WinCollect 10 is that you can test the connection to that remote device. So this would be good to make sure that you got those credentials set, um, you know, the permissions, et cetera, from this machine can connect to those remote machines. If you had like a hundred or so, you know, devices added here, and if you selected that test option, it will take some time because it's going to go out and make a, a connection attempt using the credentials. So it'll have to go step through every one of those machines, you know, in order to go on to the next step. So in this case, I'm pretty confident I type my password right here. I'm not going to go in and do a test. And if there was something that showed up, I could, you know, use the, the log viewer here later to find out, you know, oh, I don't have my permission set or I can't connect because of credentials. So, but let's just go on to the next section here, which is setting up our destination. Now with the, with the installation of WinCollect 10, there is a default destination set. Uh, the name of it is Curator. 
Um, and with my installation, when I installed it, I used a quick option and I just had to specify, you know, what three channels I wanted this, you know, this local agent to start collecting. And the other option was to specify a destination. And here I, I, I put an IP address in of a curator machine that I have here in my lab. So I'm just going to select that. Now, if I did want to add another, you know, appliance from my curator deployment, I could step, you know, click on this button and use the wizard to create a new destination. So let's just create this console that I have here set already. And let's just go to the summary page. So the summary page basically just shows us, you know, what's what's waiting to be applied to the agent. Now the difference here between using the wizard and using the the the, the built-in console UI and making changes is that the wizard you don't have to apply those changes. Um, I'll step more into that here in a bit and show like the pending changes which I talked about there before with this little notification icon up here. Um, when you're using the wizard, you don't have to apply the changes. As soon as you click apply, the agent picks up those changes and starts processing the new instructions. So let's click apply here. We'll see a little wheel spinning and then we get a, a, a confirmation a success message here stating that, you know, the agents picked it up, all changes have been applied and the agents now running. So that's, you know, that's pretty, pretty easy. That's 100 machines I've, you know, gone through using the wizard to add to this agent. Um, it's pretty straightforward. And if we go back here now to the, the dashboard, we can already see here in the, you know, on the dashboard that I have that group created called HR workstations and the agents already started making some connection attempts to some of these uh, machines that I put here in the list. 